welcome in the head coach of the Mustangs. He is Coach Paul Cantabene. He joins us here on the All Access Post Game Show. And he brought uh, a young visitor with us before we talked to a player as well. Was he? Was was it your son who was trying to make the play down here at the end he of the? He tried to grab a little ball. You know, he, he was a little <laughs> slow on it. As long as he didn't take it to the head, it his mother will forgive hot. me. It's coming a little hot, but uh, it wouldn't be the first concussion a can of being suffered. So I got 30 of them, and you know, he'll have his share, I'm sure. <laughs> coach, congratulations on a, a good victory in a game where you guys really were dominant uh, with your ride and really dominant in the face-off. Yeah, I thought we did a good job. You know, Justin's been getting better and better facing off and giving us an opportunity. You know, us going 26 to 29 is a pretty good day facing off for anybody. Um, uh, more like this kid who's a pretty decent kid. He did a good job. He's been over 50% in the year, so I thought we did good. And, you know, I told our attack in the locker room, if you guys rode like that every game, it would be easy. You know, they did a great job riding and getting some good opportunities. We scored the first three goals of the game off ride. And I thought we did a good job baiting them into doing some thir certain things that really made it uh, easy for us. And so, but um, we got to shoot the ball better. And I thought a couple times our, our uh, fundamentals weren't as good as they should have been. And it kind of cost us a little bit. And defensively, we had a few little things where he fell asleep, especially in 92. A couple times we just uh, made a couple poor choices. So, but, you know, it's a good win. And uh, now we get to move on to Friday and play a real good team and see how we do. Coach, obviously Cabrini upset Salisbury this past week. Yep. Uh, good opportunity for you guys to go in and make a statement nationally to, to cement yourselves as you head into the NCAA tournament. What does Cabrini present to you from a challenge standpoint as you move up there? Well, they're a real athletic team. You know, like they're a lot like us. They're athletic. They want to get up and down and play that way. Um, you know, they have an outstanding uh, couple of midfielders that I think do a great job. And uh, you got a good freshman goalie who's been playing well and a good faceoff guy who's been playing real well for them lately and doing a good job. So, you know, they can present challenges. You know, they got a great fr fr uh, freshman uh, attackman and they got a kid crew 55 who played real well against us last year's on the left side and you know Brooks and uh, Timmy Brooks who played well against us last year so they got some guys and you know, we'll be ready for them and you know they got to be ready for us too so you know it's probably going to be uh you know 17 18 barn burner or something like that but but that's good lacrosse and they're a good team and uh, we're excited about it you know we got through these seven conference games and you know we played a lot of great teams this year you know we played a lot of uh, you know we played Tufts and RIT and uh um, and a lot of these good teams and so we're in New York and we'll be ready to go you know it's a fun game for us as they'll be ready to go. You know, they're playing real well now, and we'll, we'll see what happens. Coach, you referenced some of those games early in the season. One of the topics that Nick and I have talked about is is how you, you get to the place where you win those games against good teams that, that didn't go your way at the beginning of the yeah. season. How good do you feel about where this team is and their ability to go win games like that, that that you weren't able to get at the beginning of the year? Well, I think we have a second midfield now. You know, beginning of the year, that's the biggest difference for us. In the first part of the year, we were just re relying on one midfield to kind of carry us. And now that Sean and and uh, Pritchard are playing much better and uh, and, and uh, Aaron. Uh, Parrish and uh, Facher are all in there. They give us a good second midfield that are all big, six foot two athletic guys that can go to the goal hard. And um, that's what gives us an opportunity to do that. We don't have to rely on Donnie and Christensen and Karassian to carry us at the midfield. And so that's good. So then that's what we're really excited about having a second midfield where early in the season we had to rely on those other guys. So I think that's where the big difference in us lies. Coach, we, we noticed that you rotated some different guys in at close defense tonight. Yep. Dylan Harris playing down low. What does Dylan give you guys down low that he uh, maybe wasn't giving you guys up top? Well, you know, he did a great job in 22. You know, he's so athletic and get out there and he's great at ground balls and a great stick. So, you know, Dylan really giving us that opportunity to really pressure and go after guys helps us. And it really helps us in the clear because he's so good at getting the ball up, moving and athletic wise. Uh, that's something that uh, we were missing a little bit. So him playing it close is really going to help us and it'll help us a lot. We hope against Cabrini. Coach, you're going to have to pick uh, Curry up and let him say hello because he's been trying to jump into the screen here. Go ahead, Curry. Say yeah. Hi. Oh, up. Yeah. 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 there he is. No. Nobody. 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 All right. He gets a I like that. That's fine. All right. No big deal. <laughs> I don't get to talk to anybody either. Runs in the family. <laughs> Coach, a big senior night victory. Congratulations and best of luck on Friday night. How oh, we appreciate it. There he is Coach Paul Cantabene joining us here.